Hello, I hope that you are having a magical Monday and hopefully things are about to take a turn for the best considering that we are about to spend the day with Sir Paul McCartney and we're going to be listening to side one of his Tug of War album. But a few things before we jump into this. I wanna let you know that if you would like to support this channel in any way, you can now send donations through my website, which will be linked down below. And I wanna give all my love and a huge, huge thanks to all of our donation heroes. You guys are truly our heroes and I'm so very grateful to you. We have track one, Tug of War. I was about to say how comfortable this is by setting us up with a very human day-to-day -day ambiance, but it occurred to me this might be a recording played backwards. Is that what's happening? It's a tug of war, tug of war. One thing and another, we were trying to outdo each other. Each individual component of this song stands to provide a completely stark contrasting sensation to one another. So with the delicacy of the touch of the guitar, of its strum, we get this simplicity that's so delicate and beautiful and gentle and bright. But then that sound is amplified and contrasted by the orchestral arrangement. It almost feels like it acts like, like a cushion contrasting the piercing light of the guitar. And the, the orchestral arrangement acts hand in hand, is a partner in crime to all of the electronic elements, increasing the swell of grandiosity, very dreamlike, but it also feels like it's sucking us in and warping us in with the swelling of the sound. I mustn't grumble, it's a tug of war. Do you take a tumble? attacks just don't stop coming. It's like this beguiling bombardment of sound and of beautiful entrancing sounds. We have this rock moment where we have all the rock elements come out to play and strike us in the face. <laughs> This gentle brightness was brought to us by all the major chords. They sort of form this, this fabric of major chords because that was kind of like the, um, the default. And then that fabric was torn ever so slightly in one way or another when we dropped off to a minor in a very, very smooth way or when we transcended with a seventh making it all the more magical and mysterious and, and just full of, of smoke and mirrors and lights and beauty. <laughs> take it away, take it away. <laughs> I love how we're getting a little more rhythmic, a little more percussion heavy. This is another song that has a similar appeal and sound to Dancing in the Moonlight. It kind of has that really cool groove to it. That part is so alluring and we can break down why chord wise. First and foremost, let's just get one thing established. Anytime there's a flip in a song, that is designated to make me lose my mind. Okay, I love going from this really lively, major driven, um, I think it's a chorus. I think we're given the, the chorus first because it feels more like a like this repetitive refrain, right? It's like the hook of the song. And then we're dropped off. Sometimes we drop off into a more somber tone. Sometimes we drop off into a more tension building. Here, it feels like we're, we're in the land of, of intrigue. Like we, we reach this place of entrancing, like trying to cast a spell on you, enchanting you a bit. That's how I feel. It's very, very charming. And 
were propelled by a seventh chord. The seventh chord leads us into this new chapter. Um, and I don't know the exact note or the exact chord, like if it's an A, B, C, or D, that would take perfect pitch, which I don't have. I've only tried to study relative pitch. Now, I'm not perfect. I can definitely get that wrong. I'm not trying to get that twisted. So in the key of A major, an A major seventh would be... And you know, this part is, is plagued by sevenths. And then when we're trailing out of this section, they also deliver us a minor seventh. So this is why the seventh was important. We've heard plenty of minor sevenths before, but I don't know if we've ever discussed them. So a minor seventh in the key of A minor would be this. And I feel like it's coated in this purple hue because it is both warm and cool. So it's red and blue. Whereas the major seventh is more bright, brassy, yellow gold. Now we, we add some, some depth and some warmth. The coolness is always there because that's brought to us by the seventh that is present in both. But it just gives us that little extra bite of something new. Magically, this song taps the nostalgic corner of my brain. Even though I've never heard this song before, I feel like my soul and this song have connected in a previous life. I reckon it could be due to the fact that there were certain segments of the arrangements that were reminiscent of Frankie Valli and the Four Seasons. To me, um, I suppose some Beatles work, but more so Frankie Valli and the Four Seasons. For some reason, they really popped into mind while listening to this song. At number three, Somebody Who Cares. Feels a little bit medieval, right? through beautiful and and kind of romantic it has this kind of Spanish feel was a total immersive experience. I feel like it really took me to some other place. I feel like that's the general vibe of this, this album so far, at least on this side. It feels very transportive, very like we're on a completely different planet in a different way than what we've experienced with Pink Floyd, where I feel like they shot us out into outer space very frequently. Here it feels, it feels like a completely different land. The land in Paul McCartney's mind. Numero cuatro y penultimo, what's that you're doing? <laughs> this is so fun. It's, it's groovy, it's funky. It feels simultaneously futuristic and retro, and it's, it's very percussion forward. <laughs> all this rhythmic play and syncopation going on it is providing so much fun but then this song becomes heavily reliant on the percussion to really be the the steady course leading us forward <laughs>
absolutely electrified by the electronic techno sound that came through. Very, very funky and groovy and so much fun. I really, really loved it. And Stevie Wonder's voice is just, the way that he delivers those runs, such a velvety execution. It's beautiful and I, I'm such a fan of his high register. I mean, high, low, all around, he can do the thing. But I, I just, I really, <laughs> I can't deny the feeling that I have when he gets into the higher register. It's just so, so silky and so easy and beautiful. I will admit that I do feel slightly let down because I was excited to hear what the two voices would sound like together, Stevie Wonder's and uh, Paul McCartney's. I thought that we were going to be receiving a little duet action. Closing out this side, track five, here today. I really knew you well, what would your answer be? I love that cascading effect, which he's already done before. I really thought that was cool. But you were always there with a smile. And you were here today. Ooh. Sparks that fly from the embers of the orchestral arrangement, primarily the strings, but just how everything comes together and then works to fuse its way into the more rock sounding aspects is, is healing. There is magic, there is medicine in that, greater than any session of therapy I've ever taken. Now, I mean, I've only taken less than five sessions to be fair, but this is just, it's soul fulfilling. I cannot wait to get to side two. What if side two tops what we heard on side one? Let me know what your favorite song is because I won't be able to let you know mine. I, I don't have a favorite. Let's just put it out there. I think if I do come up with a favorite, it will change. If I have a favorite, it will feel like me lying to myself. So at one point or another, I'm going to be hooked onto each and every one of these songs and I will have them on replay from here on now until tomorrow. Now is the time to go all out, go wild, go crazy, give it up for our incredibly beautiful donation heroes. You guys are our superstars. I love you so very much. I cannot stress or emphasize that enough. Thank you so very deeply to Marissa Martinez and Daniel Martinez, Kevin Corkill, Robert Mate Licky. I don't know if I pronounced your last name right. I'm so sorry if I butchered it. I do not mean to do that to you. And Ed Myers. I admire you guys. Kevin, Marissa, Robert, and Dad With strike of grief thrown by the kiss of death He knocked me out, left me bereft I lose track of time all the time Standing still or moving quickly by Infected by a sickly cry Got a hold of me most nights But I know when I'm on the floor You pick me back up Better than before You open the door To a world of new possibilities Glimmer of your shine, celestial divine I'll find my way through the haze It might just fade And when the blues begin again You will put them to an end Today's spotlighted superheroes are Marissa Martinez, Kevin Corkill, and Ed Myers. This one's for you. Gotta tell you this right now, later is out of reach. You stitch up my broken heart, each and every piece. Allow me to spread my wings so we can soar together. Happiness may be fleeting, but this tether is forever. I'm thrilled to witness you fly. Oh my, 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 you're the magic in the sky. 
You guys are the magic in my sky, even when my sky is rainy, cloudy, or I can't even find it. You guys help bring the light back around. I love you guys so very much. I'll see you tomorrow and remember to take it easy. Today is a difficult day for me. It marks the third anniversary of the passing of my father. He passed on October 7th, 2021. And um, I, I had a sort of rough night last night and I wasn't feeling very well. And I almost decided not to film today, but um, I decided that this is actually the perfect healing that I need. It's only done me good in the past. and. Paul McCartney was one of my dad's favorite artists. He loved the Beatles, it was his favorite band and his favorite band member was Paul McCartney. So I don't think there's a better way to spend today than by doing this, especially being in such amazing company. So thank you so much for being here for me on a day like today and for, for listening to some music with me.